Hi, this is Mahesh Thakur. I'm a career coach here in Silicon Valley, joined by my dear friend, Eddie Oberoi. And we are here to discuss how clarity, consistency, and confidence can help you regardless of whether you're navigating the tech industry or the real estate market. Hello, Eddie. Hi, how are you, Mahesh? I'm doing great. How are you today? I'm doing great. Doing great. Wonderful. Great, great topic. Great topic. It is indeed top of mind for a lot of folks. Yes. So, Eddie, let's start with you. Okay. Uh, top of mind question that I'm hearing these days is you get so many different signals. It's really ambiguous in 2024 to navigate the real estate market. 2021, 2022, 2023, they've all been different mm -hmm. if you look at them. Mm -hmm. So how do you bring that clarity to those real estate investors, whether they are first-time investors or repeat investors? How do you bring clarity to your clients in this kind of a market? Yeah, great question. I think the best thing we can do um, as, as a professional is to help people decide like what they want. And what I mean by that is sometimes we just overcomplicate stuff. And, you know, and we try to gauge little things. Mm. And, and if we want tremendous stress in our lives, we can do a lot of analysis paralysis and it will stress us out, you know. And that's why I love Warren Buffett behind us, Warren mm -hmm. Buffett. And he, he's, he's a big believer of like thinking in the long run, mm -hmm. right? Because you can't really, you know, in this world, we want instant gratification. Mm -hmm. We want things now. Right. We want to invest now. I want to make money right now. It doesn't really quite work like that. Mm -hmm. You you may get lucky here and there, mm -hmm. but it's not going to work. You got to think of it. It's just like getting in shape. Yep. You can't just go in the gym and see results in a week, in a week. Or, or a month or some cases in six months. In, yeah. You have to give it some time. Mm -hmm. Right. So to answer your question, what I ask my clients, very specific questions, very simple. Do you have to buy that big home for your teenager kids and your parents who cannot go upstairs, they need a bedroom downstairs, for example, right? Yes or no? It's a very simple question. Forget about the market, forget about everything else. A very simple question, do you need it? Or if you're an empty nester and you're trying to downsize, simple question, do you need to do this yet or not? Very simple. So I really help them narrow it down. And if the answer is like, no, or maybe, then we're like, hey, you know, forget it. Right? But the answer is like, hey, you know what? I I, I have to because my teenagers, they're going to be gone in four or five years. Mm -hmm. What am I going to do with a big house yeah. after they're gone? So I need it now. So now we're like, okay, so we got this out of the way. We, we need it now. Now, then I tell them we can't gauge the market. Mm -hmm. We cannot gauge we it. Can. But one thing we do know is like we're talking about real estate. You can never lose in the long run. You know what I mean? You can't, Makes sense. It's hard to gauge it. I mean, can you imagine if you bought a home in 2005 for a million, it dropped to 600,000, but that same home is worth 2 million right now, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. And we, we, and that was the depression, basically. It wasn't even a recession, right? Totally. So you can never lose in the long run, no matter how crazy the market is. But yes. you're trying to gauge it. Yeah. Like the, the stock like market. Like stock market. You can't you, time you it. You just can't time it. Yeah. Same thing I'll, I'll ask an investor if somebody's trying to invest. And if they have a million dollars sitting in the bank, you're actually losing money yep. with inflation. Yeah, that million dollar is not going to be worth a million in a year or two. Just with inflation is to the roof. Just with inflation. So you need to do something with that money. The question arises: Do you want to do it or not? It's that simple, right? Absolutely. And then we kind of get. So I really help them narrow it down. Mm -hmm. And Mahesh, what do you do? I know you work with a lot of your coaching clients. Are you helping the the CEOs of the world? Mm -hmm. How do you how do you bring clarity to them? Yeah, yeah. So what I do, I absolutely work with them on the three C's: the clarity, the consistency, and the confidence. And as I, as I work with these high tech leaders and even individual contributors in the tech world, as we know, 2023, quarter of a million people in the tech industry got laid off. Gosh, 250,000. 250,000 people yeah. in 2023 got laid off right around, most of them right around here, mm -hmm. but throughout the technology industry. Okay. So now when you look at that signal, that's mostly your headlines. Yeah. And now people are like the folks who got laid off for them. It's traumatic. And for the folks who are still in the job market, they can keep receiving these uh, uneven signals where they cannot cannot decipher what it means for their future. So when I work with clients, I truly step back and help them understand what their strengths are and what is it that they truly want and get them aligned to that. Because it's one thing to say I got laid off and uh, I'm a loser and put, they put all these kinds of labels on themselves. So my, my job is to make sure they put their past behind 
they become super clear in terms of what is it that they want. And we start to create one year, three year, five year goals. Because just like you said, you can't just go have a job for three months. That's contract positions. Mm -hmm. When you're talking a vice president of engineering at a large public corporation or at a fan company, mm -hmm. Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, Google mm -hmm. kind of a company. Mm -hmm. When you look at these positions, you have to be long in how you plan your goals and you, how you go about achieving them. So one of the things I do, which is my superpower, is to help them think it through and then strategize it because that clarity gives you that ultimate power to go after the singular thing that you actually want. And, and I just enjoy that because whether you're in the C-suite or if you're a staff engineer, that's one thing that once you have, it will help you get to your goals faster than ever. Love it. Great, great point. Eddie, how have you seen consistency helping your clients? Because in this area, in Silicon Valley, we know that there are people who made a lot of money in tech, but then there are also people who made a lot of money through real estate. So what are some of the patterns that you've seen consistently occur in those people who've been outrageously successful making money in real estate? Great question. You know, some of my wealthiest clients, uh, they actually say this mantra all the time, mm -hmm. consistency, consistency, consistency. And what they mean by that is, you know, they, they obviously work hard, they make money and they keep investing consistently. Okay. Now, Grant Cardone, for example, he, he says something uh, pretty crazy, actually. He says, you know, by, the, by December 31st, by mm -hmm. the end of the year, mm -hmm. you shouldn't have any money in your account. All that money should be invested in real estate. Now, think about, I know it's a very crazy statement because you need some money for, you know, with the people, rainy day. People whatever, make call the rainy day cash. Yeah, exactly, yeah. right? But can you imagine, Mahesh, if we did that for the last 20 years? Wow. Yeah. Can you imagine like wh what our net worth would have been like? Right. And he, he's got a point. He's like, okay, first of all, it'll push you. It'll, it'll get you uncomfortable mm -hmm. and it'll push you to work harder mm -hmm. starting January 1st. Right. That's one. Mm -hmm. And number two is the money is working for you while you sleep. Wow. Right. So to answer your question, I see a lot of my wealthy clients, they actually believe in consistency and it's not they're not even caught up trying to save two percent or five percent or even ten percent when they're trying to negotiate that deal they just want to get it and hold on to it mm -hmm. you know i'll give you an example i had an investor reach out to me six seven years ago he sold a commercial building for like 17 million dollars and he's like eddie i need to buy a bunch of single family homes all over the bay area mm -hmm. and i don't care whatever the best offer is go 10 20 000 above and so he was he just he, wanted he in. just wanted in and, and guess what, Mahesh? He bought him six, seven years ago. His money has almost doubled because the values have gone up so much. Sure. And that's why, I mean, I see people who are playing that game of consistency of winning versus the people who are sitting on the sideline and thinking. And thinking. And thinking. And that goes for any part of your life. True. It goes for your mindset, goes for your health, goes for your fitness, goes for your income. You have to really believe in consistency. Absolutely. So yeah. no matter how hard a goal is, as long as you're consistently doing whatever it takes yes. and then staying put, like you said, in this case, your client actually saw his money also get to the bottom. Mm -hmm. But the thing was, you remain consistent with that strategy rather than pulling it out. That's right. And then over the long term, over the long term horizon, things are always going to look yes. better than what they were. That's right. In this case, in real estate. Yeah. Amazing. How about you, Mahesh? How do you deal with consistency with your clients? So absolutely. So once we have clarity established with our clients, which means our one year, three or five year goals are laid out and we've also specified how do we get there? That's when the importance of consistency comes in. I mean, my favorite example is Steph Curry, right? He does, he practices 500 shots every single day. That's right. So if you look at that kind of practice, he actually practices about 158 times more than what he does on the field. He right. practices 158 times more shots than he does on the field. Mm -hmm. So that's a kind of a consistency. If we can bring, then the rewards are going to be really big, really public. Yeah. So I'll give an example of my one of my uh, friends and dear client, Subhan Ali. Mm -hmm. Subhan Ali was uh, laid off from eBay back in 2018. Okay. So when I worked with him uh, to bring him clarity and then establish consistency in his everyday routines and how he would now approach his life, approach his career, that caused a lot of 
small but consistent outcomes. And fast forward a few months, he landed opportunities and he took, he took at that point what we thought was the best one at NVIDIA. And you can only imagine where NVIDIA went from 2018. Yeah. We all know what yes. happened to NVIDIA, yes. right? So now 2018 to 2024, Subhan's doing amazing at NVIDIA. Yeah. He, he is now a, a partner. He's, he's leading a huge initiative, a huge partnership with one of the other um, iconic companies. Awesome. And if I look back at his journey, he's really crushed it because he became clear at that point. He became consistent in the outcomes that he was delivering. And he absolutely took in applied the framework that I brought to him through coaching. Great job. Great job. Thank you, Eddie. Thank you, Eddie. Eddie, the um, question that I have to ask you is that when you have seen your clients really do these things or when you advised your clients, how have you seen their confidence shift? And I also ask this question because I know you yourself have worked a lot on your own confidence in how you show up in real life, at work, in business. So tell us about your journey and tell us about how you actually also bring out, bring that out for your clients in their decisions. You know, it's, it's so funny, uh, Mahesh, if you look at us humans, we feel like drinking margaritas by the beach, having their retired life, yeah, totally. traveling. That's the answer, right? In fact, it's not. Because when you start doing that for a little too long, you get a little rusty. When you get rusty, what happens? You lose your confidence, right? You do. So it's so interesting that the things that we feel are going to make us feel good, mm -hmm. it has the reverse effect. Reverse effect. You know what I mean? And the things that we feel can be a grind, mm -hmm. like getting up in the morning, working out, right? Showing up on time, uh, working on yourself, meditating, Right, working on your skill set. Taking a cold shower. Taking a cold shower. It sounds like a super uphill battle every day. It sounds mm -hmm. almost uh, scary, right? Mm -hmm. It is. But the funny thing is, but if you do it consistently, your confidence level goes through the roof. Right. And right. that's something like confidence. I mean, a lot of people, when they meet me, they feel like I was born like this. But mm -hmm. I, I came from very humble beginnings, born in India. I couldn't even speak the language when I came to the U.S. I was 16 years old. Uh, but I, I got in the path of self-development. Mm -hmm. And the self-development path is not easy. But if you think about it, what's what's better? Having confidence in your life? Mm -hmm. Or just, you know, going with the wind and just kind of... You know, I, I love that quote like, hey, only... People say go, go with the flow, but only a dead fish goes with the flow. <laughs> You know what I mean? Sometimes you got to go against the current. Against the current. And that's what builds your muscles and that's how you get stronger. And for me, I think my confidence comes from just showing up every single day. No matter what happens in my personal life or professional life, when the alarm clock rings in the morning. Right. What time does it ring? It's like a robot. About 4 a.m. <laughs> yes. 4 a.m. And again, you don't have to get up at 4 a.m. You nope. don't get up at 6 or 7. But as long as you have some kind of routine. Routine. Something that That's you do on a regular basis. Absolutely. And it builds confidence. Mm -hmm. Like it's, like yesterday I had a really long day. It was a 15-hour day. But at the same, it was kind of a really weird feeling. I was driving home and I was super tired. But that I felt that confidence level that, that it was like just rising, like, ooh, I got this. You got this. This is good. Yeah. So that's what happens, you know, because when you work hard and when you are, you know, working out and when you are doing the things that you got to be doing, yeah, it seems hard, but the confidence that you get is priceless. Absolutely. So what I basically would comment on that is if you have that kind of a routine where you're consistently getting up at the same time, you're treating your body like a temple, you're working out, you're giving it that cold shower you're absolutely shifting your physiology. Yes. Your whole state is now changed. Yes. And that's the first thing in the morning. Once you start there, your energy levels are at a different level. And when that happens, you're like shining bright inside out. And when you show up with that state, you're obviously going to attract the best teams, the best customers, because with that energy, you will only be there doing good service for people. And at that point, it's beyond how am I feeling? Is my is my knee aching today, or is is my is my back sore because of that deadlift I did? You just pass that because you're you're absolutely in a better physiology, which influences and brings a better psychology. So in most of our high demanding businesses or jobs, 
it's 80% psychology. It is all psychology. Right? And it starts with the physiology. Yes. If you're not feeling good in your body, yeah. you're never going to feel good in your mind. And therefore, anything you do, no matter what, it's only going to get you maybe 20, 30% results. Yes. But the first thing that you do in the morning with your routines is the absolute thing that gives you the confidence in you. And, and you bring in a great point, a great reminder. You attract mm -hmm. what you are becoming. So like, obviously if you're lazy and if you're not, if you're not following through, if you're late all the time, you, that's what you're going to attract. Your clients are going to be like that. But if you're like, Hey, I got this. I, you're committed, you're confident, you're going to attract those kind of clients and making quick decisions and like, let's go. And that's, that's how life is. It's funny. You attract what you are at the end of the day. Totally. And the universe has its own secret ways of rewarding what you're putting in. Yes. So you put in the late hours, the 15 hours you put in yesterday, you're still going back saying, being grateful about everything you did because psychologically you checked off all the boxes you had yeah. and you still have the energy to show up with a nice smile in your house and spend time with your family, that's right. the universe is going to reward you with yeah. more good things. It's a cycle. And yeah. in many ways, as um, cliche it may sound, we are in control that's of right. that cycle. That's right. Now, Mahesh, how do you keep up with your confidence and how do you help your clients? So my confidence is similar, you know, just the morning routines that yes. you have in place. You yeah. make that happen. I'm grateful about the sleep. I'm, I'm writing my gratitude. I'm grateful about so many things that are happening. Gratitude is part of my morning routine. Yes. And the one thing that I consistently do is that I try to do the same things at the same time. So it's sort of autopilot. Uh, it's like I don't have to think about it. That's right. And I do it so much so that perhaps on Saturday, Sunday also, I keep it up so that I'm not breaking that cycle. Mm -hmm. I'm not breaking that cycle. Love it. Love and most importantly, I figured that it all starts a previous day with good planning. Yes. So when it comes to working with my clients, I try to bring some of this framework into their lives so that when I have talked to them about clarity, when they are starting to do things consistently, I like to have them showcase a lot of that confidence in their day to day, not just on the day of their board review. If it's a CEO, if he has a, uh, he or she has a very high stakes meeting with their board members, it's not like they're going to show up on that day and then appear confident. It's a work that they've done every day, every, every day of the week, every day of the month, they're consistently working on it. Same thing if somebody wants to go from a six figure job to a seven figure job, it's not overnight. That's right. You have to really have that mindset, that action set and that skill set, which I bring to my clients so that then they are confident, not just in that board meeting, not just in that important interview. They are, they are consistently confident in every conversation they have with their teams, with their customers, with their stakeholders, perhaps even with somebody that they are negotiating for a contract with their house. And that's where a lot of that comes together on their on their big day when they want to have that, when they're going after the big result. Great job. They are lucky to have you, Mahesh. Thank you. Thank you.